So here you can see that I got a sample responsive project. So let's export this as an HTML5 content. To do that, you have to go to file right over here and then click on publish right over here. And since this is a responsive project, you can see that you only have an option to publish it as HTML as you can see. So the project title, I'm just going to say test right over here and location, I'm just going to go around and choose uh, let's say I'm just going to go around onto my desktop and create a new folder right over here. This is where I'm going to keep all the files right over here. So once I do that, you can see that there are the number of slides that is 47 slides are there. Slides with audio are 18. You can also work around with the audio settings right over here on the quality of the audio that, that you want. So I'm just going to keep it, uh, let's say, for example, CD bitrate for a bit higher quality audio right over here. Uh, do you want to display score? I'm just going to keep yes. Mobile justice, yes. So if someone is viewing uh, from their mobile phone, then uh, they can actually see it, uh, use the gestures. So that's fine. Accessibility is OK. Uh, E-learning output, I'm just going to keep it disabled because this is something we're going to learn in future lessons. So once uh, we are happy, we can click publish. But if you plan to upload it somewhere or send it to someone else, you might want to zip it out so that it's easier to nail the content. But in my case, I'm just, just going to leave that unchecked because I want to preview it right over here. So once I'm happy with the settings, I'm going to click publish right over here. So it generates out all of the contents as you can see. So this does take a bit of time. And you can see here that the publishing has been completed after a while. So I'm just going to press yes right here. So it opens that out right over here in preview. So you can see that this is the preview right over here. All the files are saved here in the new folder, as you can see right over here. So let me just open this out right over here and you'll be able to see this. So you can see that uh, you see an index and a goodbye SML right over here. You got project.txt and all the assets right here. So you can upload this as a live website and then let the users uh, use this content. So let me just press play right over here. So this is how it actually seems. As you can see right here, everything is responsive. As you can see, so according to uh, the screen that, that, that they use that you can see that everything is responsive the way it is right over here. So just like that, everything works out. So you can press start right over here. One last thing. So you can go over here and you can see that this is very, very um, like interactive right over here and so forth as you can see over here. So this is all Before we... all the things that over here, um, yeah, it's very interactive and you can see that everything works out well. So that is how you export out an HTML5 project. Uh, from Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.